Good morning, everybody. It's Barrett with BarrettIndependent.com. And in episode three of Back to Basics, this morning, we are going to discuss water. Water is something that is, for some inexplicable reason, highly overlooked by the vast majority of preppers, survivalists. Uh, us, normal people who are trying to perpetuate normalcy for the people that we love during times of chaos. It is currently raining, here, gently raining at the moment, although it was freaking pouring earlier and I can see small rivers and rivulets forming in my side yard right now. Water, most people will tell you, is you need a gallon a day, bear. You're wrong. You need one ounce of water for every two pounds of body weight. So if you're a 200 pound male, you need 100 ounces of water, which is approximately three quarts. Three quarts is 96 ounces, or just about three liters. That's what, 99 ounces, somewhere in there. That's for regular activity. When you are engaged in strenuous activity, you can very easily double that. Sometimes two and a half X, maybe three X. Let's just say we're gonna double that. Now we're at six quarts. If you have one gallon per day, the range is picked up. If you have one gallon per day, you're a half a gallon in the hole right now. So you need for things like your bug out bag, you need to be able to carry a day's worth of water. My bug out bag holds seven liters of water. Seven. That'll get me through a day. But for water storage and water catchment, which is predominantly what we're going to discuss today, you need far more than one gallon per person per day. What I would recommend and what I tell people and what I do <clears throat> is a minimum of three gallons per person per day. Grindstone, our charitable organization, has deployed 14 times in the last 18 months. I keep track of how much food and water we use. It's how I'm able to do the caloric calculations that I do. It's how I'm able to do the water calculations that I do and you are much better served with a minimum of three gallons per person per day <clears throat> because you will need drinking water you will also need water for sanitation you need to wash your dirty body if you don't your morale is going to suffer terribly if you have any wounds uh, scrapes burns cuts major wounds anything like that they will get infected if you don't keep them clean and uh, it will affect your performance. Crotch rod is not a cool thing. Crotch rod and SHTF, not sexy. Your dirty butthole needs to stay clean. You need water to do that, okay? So water, sanitation, and not just of your own body, but of your gear, of your cooking utensils, of your pots and your pans, of your clothing at some point, Right, it's far more than I've got a life straw in my bug out bag. Inside joke. It's far more than that. So drinking, sanitation, and cooking. Remember, most of our food is dehydrated. Well, you got to hydrate it. Well, if you don't have the water to hydrate it, you're gonna have problems. Okay, so minimum of three gallons per person per day to store, much prefer that you store five gallons per person per day because, you know, a little bit extra goes a long way. And once every couple of weeks, you might actually want to take a shower. Once every couple of weeks, you might actually need to do laundry or whatever. Cook your, uh, or clean your frying pan or whatever you prefer, okay? So, if you got four people in your family, we'll just say you got four people in your family, five gallons a day, 
That's 20 gallons a day, 30 days in a month. That's 600 gallons of water in a month. And I'm not talking about like still using flush toilets and things like that. 600 gallons of water in a month or 7,200 gallons per year. Where in the world am I gonna get 7,200 gallons per year or 600 in a month? Well, two tall IBC totes is 660 gallons. That's your month's worth of water. You could start right now by getting those totes and filling them up with a garden hose with city water or rural water. Boom, there's a month's worth of water rationed right now. You have right now. Or 55 gallon barrels. <clears throat> you could get several 55 gallon barrels, about a dozen of them filled up, good to go. I've done this in North Texas when I lived in the suburbs. I had 55 gallon barrels full of water in the backyard. Keep them out of the sun, keep them covered up. You don't want debris or rodents or insects getting all over them. You don't want the sun causing algae to grow in them, right? So usually you just cover with black, black plastic, a couple layers of black plastic, wrap it up, good to go. Now that's your month's worth of water. How do you replenish that? See that? This roof was intentionally built to do what it's doing right now, to catch rain. How I built this roof, why we did it this way, all those details are on Patreon. But suffice it to say, the average roof is going to generate about 0.6 gallons per square foot of roof per inch of rain. Write this down. By the way, Prepper Classroom, free playlist here on YouTube. You can find all this information in a classroom setting there with whiteboards and markers and all that. And also, you can get the Prepper Notebook, which is the companion to the Prepper Classroom. You can purchase that in the store, or you could go take your own notes for free, or you can make notes from this video as well but you can get the Prepper Notebook at bearindependent.com in the store. If you so choose, not trying to twist your arm, okay? All this information is available free to you right here on YouTube. So take notes if you, if you feel fit to do that. This roof and the vast majority of roofs will catch 0.6 gallons per square foot per inch of rain. Now this roof right here is 500 square foot. That works out to 300 gallons of water per inch of rain. That's at 100% efficiency. Nothing runs at 100% efficiency. So you're going to want to derate that, okay, by at least 10%. So at 90% efficiency, we're catching 270 gallons of water per inch of rain off of this roof. Let's just round that to 250, easy numbers, okay? So for me, in my area, we get approximately 40 inches of rain per year. Subject to change at any time, depending upon the grand solar minimum and or the reptilian overlords. So, 40 times 250, 40 inches of rain, times 250 gallons per inch of rain off of this roof, works out to 10,000 gallons of water. Cool. There's 10,000 gallons of water right there. Now we get into the, I don't have that much storage. How do I store 10,000 gallons of water? Well, you can either have a cistern or a very large tank, or you can gang up your IBC totes. And in this case here, we have six 330,000 or 330 gallon IBC totes for just shy of 2,000 gallons of rainwater storage capacity, okay? which means that we can hold eight inches of rain off of this roof in those tanks. And those 2,000 gallons of water represent for us, in my family, about 10 weeks worth of water rationed. See how all this works? This is why you need to know how many people are coming to your place. I mean, for real. Well, Uncle Bob and Aunt Sandy, and um, yeah, and then great aunt Millie, she's gonna come. And then my buddy Leroy from work, he's gonna come and he's got four kids and uh-uh. 
The people who come to your house are the people who put in the work now. People who are putting in the effort now to be part of your groups, your team, your tribe, your mutual assistance group, your community watch, uh, your whatever, neighborhood coalition of cool people, whatever you wanna call it, okay? The people who pour into what you're doing now are the people who can extract out of what you have done later. How many people really matters? It's the same thing with food storage. How many people? Because a year's worth of food for two people is four months worth of food for six people, okay? A year's worth of food for one person is a month's worth of food for 12 people. You need to know how many people because it informs all these other things. And what I do is I always go a little bit above and beyond because I want some cushion there, okay? But rainwater catchment is highly recommended because to store all the water you need for a year is very difficult. I mean, I'm talking about IBC toast, but a lot of y'all are going to be in suburban environments where you may not be able to use IBC totes because you can't get them or because the HOA or POA says that you're not allowed to have them or whatever, right? 55 gallon drums on the other hand, I stored mine behind the back of my house under the eave of the roof covered up. You would have never known that they were there. So, but even then, right? Or if you're trying to store in five gallon buckets of water or five gallon jugs of water or bottled water, which is the most expensive way to store water that there is. So I like a few cases of bottled water laying around for emergencies that I can hand those out, but I would much prefer to fill somebody's cup from the 300 gallon tank than hand them a bottle of water in the long term, okay? So holding a year's worth of water is difficult. Holding a month's worth of water becomes problematic for most people. So you need a way to replenish your holding tanks, which is why rainwater catchment. Now in a lot of places, um, they build roofs low to the ground. Like this is the ground, they build the roof right on top of it. And they put a gentle pitch on it with a gutter at one end and all that water runs into the gutter and runs into a pipe down in the ground that feeds a tank. Uh, if you're gonna build a roof, in my mind, it ought to be on top of a building because why build a roof in the first place? If you're gonna go through the trouble, might as well make a building, ergo this roof up here. And we have more rainwater catchment going on here as well. In fact, this particular abomination of a barn behind me is very soon going to get replaced with another building that's here. We'll have more rainwater catchment off of that. And then over here, currently under construction, we have our turn, you dumb thing. So good at this. The best YouTubes. Tremendous. We have what is going to become the outhouse and the bathhouse over here, which is a 10 by 20 platform that's actually going to end up with about 300 square foot of roof over the top of it. And we will pitch that down and away. Composting toilet system over there. We'll talk more about that in the sanitation video to come. But uh, we'll have 300 square foot of roof over there to catch water with. You start doing the math on that, it ends up somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 gallons per inch of rain as well over there. So that's another 6,000 gallons per year off of that roof. So, and then 1,500 square foot of roof over here. So doing the math on that, starts adding up, adding up, adding up. So that's the whole point here is how much water to have. I highly recommend three gallons per person per day at a, at a minimum, prefer five. You can only store, most people can only store about a month's worth of water. So figure out how you're going to replenish that water. I like rainwater catchment for that. We also have wells, wells that will run on solar power. We also currently have rural water. We also have a spring on property and we have three creeks and it rains a lot here. So we have options for where to gather water from. Oh, and we have a stock tank as well. 
but uh, I would much prefer that you have water where you need it at your domicile because water is heavy, it's cumbersome to move, it's labor intensive, which means you're burning calories to gather it and move it. And uh, where do predators hunt? At the watering hole. You don't wanna be coming and going for water, all right? So three gallons minimum per person per day, prefer five. Work on being able to store a month, figure out how to replenish a month's worth of water at a time. You can research using the internet your average rainfall for your area and use that to extrapolate out how much roof and how much catchment you need, which is what we did here. And then you need to know how many people are coming to your place. That's a real question that you need to answer now, how many people. And then your bug out bags should be able to carry a day's worth of water. Your water replenishment via bug out bag, I think the Life Straw is ridiculous. I'm not a fan of it. I like the Sawyer Mini. I like the Sawyer Squeeze, and I like the Katie Dine Hiker and Vario uh, filters. Those are the ones I have personal experience with as well. But uh, if you can only get one of them, you're on a budget. The Sawyer Mini is 20 bucks and highly recommended. And I use that with one liter smart water bottles in a lot of my systems. It, it works great. So water, what's your plan? It does not matter how many cool guy guns and plate carriers you have if you cannot drink water you'll die without it so what's your plan figure it out again all this information is in the free playlist here on YouTube the prepper classroom highly recommended that you check that out you can also find the prepper notebook in the store at barrendependent.com and uh, shout out to the patrons we cannot do this without you we would not do this without you if you'd like to support the show you can click this little baby bear up here in the top corner and uh, that'll take you over Patreon, dollar or more per month for 30 plus exclusive pieces of content per month. Thanks for being here. Shalom.